Well, hello there, sis. I'm Coach Lavette Love of Love Life Legacy Coaching, LLC. Although today is day 21, it does not mean your personal journey is over. It just means we've come to the end of the May journey, and I look forward to seeing you ladies in the June journey. But I wanted to share with you a message this morning about continuing to be true to yourself. I want you to continue to work on the goals and actions that you put in place for yourself over the past 21 days. We're not going to forget how we can be authentic, how we can be true to ourselves. We're not going to forget our financial goals, our mental, emotionally and mental health goals. We're not going to forget and stop doing the things that we've created a habit, a positive habit towards. All right. So there are all times where we are unhappy with ourselves, right? Unhappy with who we are, what we've attained in life, or which path we've taken. And that's just because we're human. But those sentiments affect us all from time to time. Yeah, there will be days when it doesn't feel like you're at your best or you're not good enough. But what if your best is just enough? It's fine. We have to come to terms with our true self and acknowledge the awesome queens that we really are. We all have different characteristics to make us so unique and special. There is no one else in the world with your individual talents. There is no one else here on God's green earth that can take your unique place because he created us in his image, but we're all created differently. It's time to accept yourself for who you truly are. And you can also boost your confidence while doing it. Take advantage of the skills you have for your own benefit and that of others as well. Here are some strategies that I want you to think about. Number one, know that you are special. It's important that you look at the person you are as God's beautiful creation. You weren't made this way by mistake. You have your own beliefs, your likes and dislikes, and that's all a part of the design. Strategy two, look at the bright side. Oftentimes, you probably feel that someone else's situation is better than yours because they have more, they seem happier, or they appear better off because we're on the outside of the window looking in. You've heard the phrase, the grass is always green on the other side until you get over there. Stop comparing yourself that you're not less blessed than you are. Do you know anyone who couldn't find work for a long time that they've given up on? COVID, people losing their jobs left and right. Is there anyone around you suffering the pain of a loss, grieving, could be death, it could be a relationship, a marriage, a child, anything? When was the last time you noticed how many homeless people are out living under the freeway and in the streets? Look at the right side, sis. Strategy three is consider your accomplishments. Throughout your life, you have achieved so much. And we're not just talking about professional accolades here. I'm saying personally too. Whether you accomplished a stronger bond with your parents, you completed a project that got you a promotion. Those things all took place while you were standing in the skin that you're in today. Remember that that person who has those accomplishments is you, the true you. You did it with your own strength, abilities. You are a winner in your own right by the merit of what you've accomplished. And no one, absolutely no one can take that away from you. You're victorious. Strategy four, avoid underestimating yourself. One thing that may be causing you to feel less happy with who you are and where you are in life in this particular season is because you underestimate yourself. Stop, sis. It's possible you don't have what you want because you haven't really tried to get it. I'm pausing right there so you can let that sink in. Instead of wishing that you had something somebody else have, why not put some thought into how to achieve your goals, your dreams? 
pull out that journal. Yes, make a detailed plan of the action steps that you need to take to get what you want. There are so many coaches in this community. We, you have a financial coach, you have a health and fitness coach, you have a coach, the other Amber, who's given us nutritious meals. You have Deneen, she's the results coach. I'm your emotional wellness coach. So you have a team, you have the resources here. You just need to reach out and activate those resources. All right? Stop and consider that there's nothing separating you from your goals because you have what it takes to move forward and get it done. Just remember that you were uniquely created with talents and skills to have a fulfilling life. Yes, you. But you also get in what you, get out what you put in. Make the life for yourself that only you can achieve and design. Real quickly, the four strategies. Number one, know that you're special. Number two, look at the bright side. Number three, consider your accomplishments. And four, avoid underestimating yourself. All right, ladies, we're heading into the weekend. I want all of you to have a wonderful weekend, a fabulous Friday. And I also want you to think about the strategies that I've shared to you. Be true to who you are. All right, until next time, this has been Coach Lovett Love.